Hey guys, so today I am starting all of my pepper seeds. It is the end of January and I'm starting them early to give them a big jump on the season. Partially because in my backyard or my garden, I get, um, I don't think I get enough sun for peppers to really be like super productive. Um, I do get good um, production out of them, but if I had more sun, I think I would get a lot more pepper. So I'm starting them early so I can keep them under grow lights and under like, you know, those protected conditions with more light. And then once my frost free date comes then I'm going to plant them outside, but to, I just want to give them a good jump on the season, get them nice and big and hearty before I put them outside. Because in my mind, that's how they do the best with the sun that they get outside in my garden. So let me show you the peppers we're going to start and then I'm also going to start an, another two other uh, seeds that need to be started now. So here are the peppers. We're doing a long fin cayenne and then I'm doing a shishito pepper and then this is a poblano, poblano seeds from a poblano that um, we bought from a grocery store. You can't even see. Here you go. There we go. Come on. There. It doesn't want to focus on it but poblano seeds. And then these are Park Seed Whopper Jalapeno Seeds. We love jalapenos. And then I have some habaneros, which we grew habaneros last year and they actually did really well outside. Um, even if they, like I started peppers last year, I think in like February, March-ish, and habaneros were one of them and they actually did really well for us this summer. Um, I'm doing a Serrano Chili. Come on, buddy. Okay, so a serrano chili. And then I am doing a red onion. And onions are um, one thing I have not tried to grow out here besides the um, green onions. So this will be an experiment this year to see how this does. I know there are a lot of different um, types of onions and then onions that require like a long day, short day, like all kind of onion weirdness. I'm just going to grow these and see what happens. They do take 110 days um, to harvest so that is a really long time so I definitely want to get these seeds going now. Um, another pepper is the pepper pasilla bajo, I think that's how you say it. And then I am doing a ghost pepper chili for my husband. He likes the spicy, spicy. I like spicy too, but this is a little bit, this is a little bit too spicy for me, but he likes it. So I'm going to grow this for him. And then I'm doing the, which I just got these seeds. Um, I just got these earlier in the haul when I went to a greenhouse and this is an artichoke and this takes 150 to 180 days to mature so definitely probably should have started this a little bit earlier okay and then my last one that I'm starting is rosemary and rosemary matures in about 150 days as well so it's gonna need a long growing season so those are that's one of the things you want to look at on your seed packets is the maturity date and if the maturity date is long meaning like over a hundred days those are things you want to get started earlier um, you'll see a lot of times with flower seeds especially like uh, perennials it'll say you know 365 days or more until maturity and that means when that plant is ready to flower flower and produce seeds so that is maturity um, that's what they mean but yeah so let's go ahead and get these seeds started um, I've got my seed starting mix and I've got my little seed starting pots and all that stuff that I use I will tag it for you in the video description if you are interested in buying that stuff the same stuff that I use. All right, so let's go plant these seeds. So we're heading into the dining room to get these seeds started. Got my stuff here. This is how I typically set up to film you guys. 
I move everything off the dining table, I move it back, and then I put my stuff up here, and then I move the camera over this way. Um, this is where I get the best lighting. And then I have to grab a tray and my soil, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started. So now that all the seeds have been planted, I'm gonna go ahead and water them from the bottom. Um, that is the best way to water your seedlings. Now, as far as keeping them on a heat mat, um, definitely, yes, a heat mat will hasten germination. However, if you don't have any heat mats, just put, the, put them in your warmest room um, and also water with, um, don't water with cold water, water with a warm water not hot but just warm you know in between um, but definitely not cold water okay so let's go ahead and water these guys in
So I'm gonna give this tray a few hours to soak up all this water um, and then this evening come back if there's a, a, a large amount of water left then I'll go ahead and dump it or use like a um, you know like a turkey baster syringe type thing and suck out the rest but for the most part you want to keep your seedlings moist um, at all times you don't want to let them dry out and I've got this guy here on the seed tray this room stays warm, so I probably won't start up a heat mat just yet, but I definitely um, have one that I could set up. It's over it's over in the corner over here. It's over there um, <laughs> that I can set up, and I, I likely will set that up here soon, but for today, they're on the shelf. Um, they've got light, <laughs> and they've been watered in. I'll keep you guys updated on the seed starting stuff, but otherwise, these things are planted and I'm ready to go for spring. I cannot wait to have the peppers and the artichokes and the onions. I hope the onions germinate and grow next year, maybe even this year. I mean, I still have time. I might even just grab some onion sets, which are like already pre-started onions that might work out better for me, but I'm going to see how this goes because it's cheaper to, to just buy seeds. So yeah. Oh, also I started um, pansies from seed. So let me show you that real quick. So here, my pansies are under here and you're supposed to keep them under darkness until they germinate. So there they go. I started them two days ago and this right here is a heat mat. Um, I got this from Amazon and I have two or three of these. I don't use I don't use heat mats a lot just because the room that my plants are in, this is in, is a fairly warm room. So um, it's not often necessary, but anything on that says heat mat or yeah, use heat on the seed packet, I do um, like to use this to aid in germination. And lastly, here is an update on the micro dwarf tomatoes that I started and the cilantro that I started with you guys. They look amazing. We've got pretty much one seedling per pot of the tomatoes came up, which is why I always sow two seeds. And then the cilantro, it looks like all of the seeds in the cilantro came up. And then this tomato, the bonsai micro did not come up, so I have reseeded it um, to see if, um, if those new seeds will pop up. So I did two new seeds for this one. And then I come in and I miss the top of the soil every day and then um, if it's dry in the evenings I'll go ahead and give it like a pretty decent drink but for the most part the misting on the top of the soil has worked out really well for these little guys so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video let me know in the comments if you have already started some seeds and what seeds you've got going right now all right guys I'll see you next video